Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here. Welcome to today's two minute message. I don't know about you, but I wanna see more clearly. I realize that I have blind spots. We all know what they are in a car. Even look at where I am right now. Beautiful scenery, but I'm actually on a roof right now, overlooking a beautiful field and a beautiful barn. See, one of the keys to being able to see clearly is to learn how to change your perspective. See, oftentimes we make the mistake of being so in something that we're so busy looking at the trees that we miss the forest. But when you change your vantage point, when you change your perspective, when you allow yourself to leave where you normally live and look at things from another vantage point, you get a whole new set of things to be able to see, to be able to understand. If I'm on the ground floor, I would never be able to see that barn behind me, that beautiful field. But because I'm on a roof, you can see it and so can I. And what I wanna encourage you is that Jesus is so important because Jesus sees the world differently than we do. See, we live our lives, but then Jesus comes in as the perfect, spotless son of God who died on a cross for the sins of the world. And he says, this is what I see. And we need God's vantage point to be able to truly see clearly what we're doing. See, we don't realize, the Apostle Paul said we see through a glass dimly. We have blind spots even in front of us. But when we understand the world the way God sees it, through the lens of the finished work of Jesus that we get from the Bible, that gives us a clear vision for who we are and how we ought to live. So listen, first, share this video. If you love Jesus, share this video so that your friends and your loved ones might be, take the moment to say, maybe I might wanna change my perspective. And then next, let's talk about the different vantage points we can look at things from. Biblical vantage points, from the way we see the world, from the ways that we uh, integrate life that we're experiencing into our own experience. And I want you to put them in the comments because we want to grow together. I love the Facebook community that surrounds these two minute messages and all the interaction that goes on. I'm super blessed by it. Until next time, listen, Jesus is real. God bless you guys. Love you.